Boiled peanuts in a pressure cooker makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier. And I'm using an Instant Pot, but you can use a Ninja Foodie or any pressure cooker you got. And uh, quite honestly, I've done it many times, and I think I have perfected the uh, peanut to salt ratio. And if you've ever done it before, you know it's trickier than it sounds. Plus, I got the times down for, for, for what I like. So, we're about to boil some peanuts. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. Let's boil some peanuts. All right, like I said, here is the Duo Evo Plus. It is Instant Pot's latest and greatest device on the market. And it is a, I really love it. But you can use any pressure cooker. It doesn't matter. Uh, Ninja Foodie, uh, you can go on and on. Any pressure cooker you want to use. Here's what I do. That is one gallon. That is a one gallon container full of peanuts. That is three quarter cups of salt. Now, that that makes it salt. Well, I'll say this too. Every, all peanuts are a little bit different. I'm using Valencia uh, raw in shell peanuts, obviously, but there's what I'm using. That's a five pound bag. That's probably, I don't know, that's probably a little less than two pounds. You can tell that's all that's been out of this bag, and that was a five pound bag, so I'm going to get off of that. All I'm going to say is I'm going to put this one gallon container in uh, my eight quart uh, instant pot, which it wouldn't matter what kind it was, but that puts it to about the half fill mark. You can see right there, right there is about a four quart, which would be a gallon, uh, and the half fill on an eight quart, obviously. So now all I'm going to do is pour this three quarter cups of salt and and i mean that's that's critical pour this right here in there and i'm going to cover that with water and i'm going to do that and when i come back i'll show you where i put the water level at and then we're going to get these to cooking and i'll explain my procedures for that be back all right one thing i wanted to say right quick is i haven't mentioned it but i'm using kosher salt all i would use would be either kosher salt or sea salt while you're doing peanuts. Now, there's a lot of variations. You can add, say, chicken broth or even beef broth, and I've done it before. It works great, but there's nothing wrong with just water. Now, this is an eight quart, as I said. I've got it half filled. I'm gonna cover it to my max fill. That's what makes the eight quart and this one gallon work real well. If you've got a six quart, you might want to adjust it. I never like to go above my max fill mark on any pressure cooker, and I don't recommend anyone doing it. But that what, that's what makes this work great. Uh, one gallon of peanuts in an eight quart, and then fill it to right here, and you won't have to worry about the peanuts uh, sitting on top when they're cooking. But we're going to get to that in just a second because I got one more step we're going to do. And uh, I'm about to get those covered. I'll be right back. Okay, there they are with the water added. And you can see they're floating. The peanuts are going to float. They're, and you can see right here, there's my max uh, fill line. And that's where I've got my liquid level to. And the, water, the, sh the salt, of course, is in there. So what we want to do is get this hot and warm where maybe some of the peanuts will absorb some of the water and, and, and it will not be floating so bad, but mainly to melt that salt. So our next step is 15 minutes of high pressure, and then we're going to do a quick release, stir it up real well. If it looks like it needs water, we'll add it, but that's, that's, our, that's our step right now. So what I'm going to do is hit pressure cook. I'm going to leave it on custom. It'll be on high, and everybody's pressure cooker will be a little bit different. But I'm going to do high pressure for 15 minutes, and it's, it's there already. Going to hit start, and I don't have to worry about sealing the uh, Evo Duo Plus. It seals itself when you put the lid on. But if you have any other kind, make sure your vent is sealed. So I'll be back after that's done. All right, there it goes. Now that's after the 15 minutes, but in reality, it took. I started my timer. It took 33 minutes for it to uh, come up to, you know, get hot enough to make steam and uh, start the countdown. So what I'm going to do right now is do a quick release because we're going to. All we're going to do is open it up and stir them around. But once that's done, 
I'll be back. All right. <clears throat> there went the lid. I mean, there went the pin. Let's see what we got. And you can see they're on top, but that's what that's what this is about. I'll show you exactly what it looks like when you open them up. And they're floating, and that's what peanuts do. <laughs> but there's a lot of liquid in there. I'm not sure we're going to need any more. I'll show you what I mean by that. And the salt is definitely, you know, melted in part of the water. Now I may add some water. But we're going to stir that up real well. And then we're going to do two and a half more hours on them. And I'm going to bed, so it'll be in the morning before, you know, it'll be in the morning. They'll, these will be ready, I assure you. But if you were not going to bed, they would be ready at that point. Or they'd be ready for, you know, time for you to check them. That's, that's, that's all it's about is to see how you want them and how you like them. But I'm going to show you right here what we got best I can. I'm going to hold this up. There's the liquid level. And we're not going to stay on this real long. I'm going to add a little more liquid because you can see this right at the, the line. It's right, if you ask me, it's right at, the, right at the point where I'm not sure it needs it or not. So I'm going to. Now, <clears throat> the, the, the big thing about this is uh, that they stay, I think they need to stay under the water and they need to stay, the, well, I know they do. They need to stay kind of under the water, but the saltiness, because I've, I've had it before where they were not under the water and when they're not, they don't get, the, the ones on top <laughs> obviously don't get a lot of salt. So there's where I'm doing mine, right there. There's what, you can see what I got, right there. There's plenty of water there now. And I don't have to worry about them sitting there on top. So, back with the lid. Uh, lock it. We're going to do the same thing, pressure cook, which we'll, we'll, just, we'll just hit cancel. That's the best way I know to do it. <laughs> hit pressure cook. It's on custom, and yours will be different, most likely. I'm going to two and a half hours right here. And uh, there we get there. Two hours and 30 minutes. I'm going to lock that in right there. I'm on high. I'm going to hit start. My lid's already locked. I know it is. It's on seal. So I'll see y'all in the morning because that's, that's what it'll take. It'll be a little bit, little bit before it comes back to pressure again. And as a matter of fact, there are 42 minutes is where we're at right now. So, it, you got 42 minutes invested so far. So once this, once this is done, in two and a half more hours, you're looking at a, probably about three or four hours versus eight hours in a crock pot. But long story short, in the morning, we're going to try those. And I'll be back at that point. Okay, it is morning time. As a matter of fact, it did the two and a half hour cook and I've been busy and it's got six hours and 30 minutes of keep warm time. I have not opened it. We're fixing to open it for the first time. The pen obviously is down. So let's see what we got. Open it up. Shake it off a little bit. And I think you can see those look, those look good. There's nothing wrong with the way that looks. So I'm going to stir them up a little bit and I'm going to get some out of there and we're going to take a closer look. So hold up, my baby. Okay, right there they are in a bowl. And take my word, those are as close to perfect as I ever get them. They're done to, the tenderness is perfect. The salt level's perfect uh, for, you know, for my likings. Everybody likes them a little different maybe, but there's nothing wrong with that method we did right there. And you can see I'm using the Valencia raw peanut, which it says on the bag, best for boiling. Well, I'm not going to say it's not, because it, you can see how well it did. It does take a little longer than a green peanut. You'll hear people talk about green peanuts. Well, they're only available in, say, August, just a few months out of the year. And these right here make a perfect boiled peanut, and that's what most places you stop at, stands it, with boiled peanuts, this is what they're using. I think the ratios with the one gallon of peanuts to three quarters cup of salt is as good as you're going to find. <clears throat> now here's what I do with them. This is something I did the other day. <clears throat> I ate a peanut and I kind of got choked. <laughs> uh, 
I freeze them. I put them in a Ziploc bag and just drop them in the freezer. Then all you got to do is reheat them. And I mean, they are, they're a great snack for a lot of different situations. So I was going to tell about this because in my last video, I did some boiled peanuts and I do hot ones sometimes. I think I did in that video. <clears throat> but I used to put this on there and put a weight on top of it. Well, you can see that's not needed if you do the 30, whoops, if you do the 30 minutes and then t open it up, look at your water level. <clears throat> and uh, just refill it. So, anyhow, that's my boiled peanut. And like I said, I've got a hot recipe, but I'm, I just decided to do this, these, because you can do a lot of things with hot. Without All you do is put some Cajun seasoning. I will say, if you add Cajun seasoning, you have to adjust that salt, because like uh, Tony Sacheries will add salt, so you can't go by the same salt ratio. But take my word, nothing wrong with this right here. Hey, <clears throat> love y'all all. Come back to see me. Boil you some southern boiled peanuts and... Uh, Make a, a a day of watching football and eating peanuts or something. Anyhow, y'all have a good day. Come back to see me. Bye-bye.